Okay, I wanted to show my boom that I took off the boat. Uh, today's October 6th, uh, middle of the day right now. Uh, first of all, a lot of the work I would be doing in the garage, but brought it out for the light to show the, on this video. Uh, you can kind of see right here, hopefully it comes up clear enough, but this is uh, made by four spar. The boom is 12 feet 2 inches long. Right here, I got some, these right here are for uh, the reefing system. They come through, the lines would come through here. So this is the gooseneck end. I just took this cleat off so I could get the boom bang off. Uh, having that on there kind of made it flip around when I didn't want it to. So the reason I'm showing this is because I plan on refinishing this up a bit. I've already taken the gooseneck off. Here's one piece here, right here. So with the gooseneck, I uh, took these cam cleats off. And they were there was one mounted on each side here. The, the paint was flaking off. I've been trying to sand it down, get it cleaned up. Plan to repaint that probably with Rust-Oleum. Right here, uh, don't see it here right now, but there was a, another little uh, pulley right here in the middle. And then on the end, Similar configuration where there's three. Uh, let's get this other cam cleat out of my pocket. And, okay. I've been thinking about replacing these. They didn't se want to seem to work too well, but now that they're off the gooseneck, they seem to be working a little bit better. Uh, plus, I haven't found anything with the right hole spacing. These are made by Schaefer, so maybe I have to go with another Schaefer if I replace it. So these two lines were going through the boom. This one with the metal wire attached to it. Uh, the wire is about, I think I measured it at nine feet, but I had to cut this end off in order to get it out of this piece because on this end it was running through the middle one but when it came through on, by the gooseneck it was coming out the port side this one and then the other line I think that was for uh, part of the reefing as well so one's the main out hole and I guess the other is for reefing and that one also was running through the boom but uh, that went from starboard side here and out the starboard side on here so for the most part maybe I could put another line on here another for uh, reefing maybe but then you know have if I have the wire through the middle you know, would I be able to do it on this side, but there's no cam cleat put on there. Um, but anyway, for the rest of this, you know, for these two pieces, I'm looking at cleaning it up and uh, probably painting it with Rust-Oleum. It'll look a little bit better. People with lawnmowers cutting the grass in the neighborhood. But anyway, I'm looking at taking the hardware off. So up right now is the starboard, excuse me, the port side. Here's the starboard side. Again, a label showing four spar. 
And then some other loops here. I'm thinking there used to be some other hardware here and now these screws are just used to plug them up. That's the only reason I could think of having those screws. Have a few pieces of hardware over here. Now again, something else might, might have been here and somebody took it off and left it off. Another cleat. And then this slide right here is for the boom vang. So a few settings there, but I think mainly it's on one of these two settings, but it could be, I think it's usually on this one if sailing, and then it could be set to this one when, uh, when lifting the boom out of the way, if wanting more headroom around the, uh, the cockpit. So the cleat I just took off right here, uh, I think it was with these two holes. Yeah, because you can kind of see a little bit of outline from the base. I'm looking at cleaning this up, sanding it down, maybe going so far as repainting it. It's going to be quite a bit of work left to do since I'm just getting started. So that, plus doing this video, I can see where the hardware is that needs to come off. So I know where to put it back on. I just paused for a moment because the lawnmower started up almost right near me. Things are noisy, but uh, probably have to drill this out. You know, I've got just I think these are the only parts that are riveted onto the boom. I could probably drill them out and redo that later on. So far the first step is just disassembly, which I've already got started. Now, then with the boom vang, these two lines were attached to it. Yeah, there are two separate ones here. So one was easy to get off, the other one I actually had to cut the knot off. But I took a video before I disassembled that. So that way I know how it was uh, set up again. So, we'll see how this part goes. It just probably doesn't need a lot of refinishing. Maybe a buff and maybe I could paint that too. I was also wondering if maybe there was a different way of doing this. I mean, this is really thin line right here. Might be easy just to replace that and the line, but maybe there's a different way to redo this part.